With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Their meeting in Super Bowl 49 was thrilling. What's in store here? The Pats and Seahawks are underway. Here comes Devin Hester bringing it out. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Jackson first play going to throw. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. A sack by Brandon Graham. He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. A situation they'll certainly want to avoid going forward. An early second and long they're facing. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson under pressure and down he goes in the end zone, and that's a safety. All right, partner, Deuce is wild on this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 right at the 50 yard line. Dillon up the middle, and that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Again, it's Dillon. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Running left is Dillon. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. To the right side, this is Dillon. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Second down and a run by Robinson. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Here's Brady. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's
it's out. It's loose. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. But since the leaping rules were changed back in 2017, we only average about one block kick per week league-wide. They pulled out all the stops there, got someone in there, delivered a big block. I actually didn't think it was that high. I thought it was even less than that, but those guys executed perfection right there. Really brought excellent effort on that snap. Can't ask for anything more, and they got it done. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. First carry here for Kenneth Walker the third, And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. The Patriots going with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. He'll find Metcalf. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know what. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Kenneth Walker, 33 yards. And the Seahawks take the block field goal and convert it into six points. Well, we've said it many times. He is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands. And on this occasion, he did just that. Well, he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go. When you're an RB1 running back one, you've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity and that opening, you take full advantage. From way up at the 23. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown, the field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick, obviously the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And some room to work. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They run again with Dillon. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A.J. Dillon, 41 yards. And the Patriots have regained the lead. Well, what a first half he's had running the football. Another terrific run there, and this one finds the end zone. Well, we know he's a guy who's capable of coming up with big plays in the running game, and his offensive line knows it as well. That keeps them motivated, looking for those extra blocks to give him room to run downfield. So now Brady and the Patriots going for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. 
And this time he'll be stopped short of the goal line. He might have been out of gas after the long run. In any event, the try for two fails. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 42. Two minutes even in what's been a tight first half. 8-7, our score. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Now wasted time going right back to DK Metcalf. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throwing is Jackson, rolling to his left. That'll be caught by Hester. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Here's Walker. And he is going to lose yardage here. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Jackson going to throw quickly here, complete. Touchdown! Devin Hester from four yards out as they have taken the lead. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. From way up at the 23, and out a little across the 25 to the 27. at the line, ready to go. And the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this will take it right down Broadway. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Thaddeus Moss, 73 yards. And the Patriots strike quickly here to tie up the ball game. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers. 
or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, oh, and a bad throw there, it's intercepted. Picked off by Kiko Alonso. And the Patriots are gonna have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there, you throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. They find some open field. There he goes, right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A.J. Dillon as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots will extend their lead here just before halftime. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is up to eight. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find it. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Pats are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 31 yards there and a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little, and oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. Back to Dillon on first down. And for one of the first times tonight, he's gonna be held up at the line of scrimmage. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten.
The final shot before half for Brady. He's going to air one out. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And the Seahawks are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. Number two, the Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Second down, another run for Dillon. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Third down, here's Dillon. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. They'll run for it with Dillon. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They run once more with Dillon. And they'll get this down to the 10. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They'll run here with Dillon. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A.J. Dillon, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots...